I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find horizontal asymptotes and how to find limits at infinity. Question is determine the equation of any horizontal asymptote for the function f of x equals to 2x divided by x square minus 4. Then state whether the curve approaches the asymptote from above or below. So the function given to us is f of x equals to 2x over x square minus 4. To find horizontal asymptote means what? To find horizontal asymptote also means end behavior. It really means if x is approaching positive infinity or if x is approaching negative infinity, in that case if function is approaching a fixed value L, then the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to l, right? Only if function approaches a fixed value. If the function does not approach a fixed value, in that case, horizontal asymptote may not exist or will not exist, correct? That is one part. So I hope some of you know this, right? Another thing which we know about is that if the degree of numerator and denominator, if we analyze that, in this case, degree of denominator is higher, right? So, so in such a case, where degree of denominator is higher, we expect horizontal asymptote as y equals to 0. So that is the expected answer, right? So that is expected. Now, how to really get this answer? This is what we are going to do in this particular video. And we are going to understand that with the concept of limits at infinity, right? So that is how these two things are related. So let us find limits at infinity for the given function, okay? So what we'll do is we'll find limit of the function f of x as x approaches a negative infinity or positive infinity. We'll take both at the same time, try to simplify and then see uh, how it can develop. Right. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to find limit of the function for both negative and positive infinity and the function here is 2x divided by x square minus 4. To find such limits what we should do is we should take x common and then uh, further simplify. So we could write this as limit x approaches negative or positive infinity. So if I take x common for the denominator, we have 2x here. So if I take x common in the denominator, then I get x minus 4 over x, correct? At this stage, you can simplify it by cancelling the x. Now we'll apply the limits laws. Constant limit is 2, right? So we have limit of constant 2 as x approaches positive negative infinity in the numerator. In the denominator, we have limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity for x minus limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity for 4 over x. Now, for a constant, limit is constant, so we can say it is 2. For x, x is very large, so it is a very large value x. However, limit of 4 over x is going to be 0. So, so this is approaching x. It is very large value. Let me write for the time being. Limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity for x minus this limit is 0. So basically, we have limit for uh, the function, which is kind of, you could write this as limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity for 2 over x. Now if x is very large, this function approaches 0, you can see, right? So x could be either negative infinity or positive infinity. In both cases, you are approaching 0. 0 is the fixed value and therefore you say that the horizontal asymptote exists. So now you say horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Do you get the idea? Because the limit of this function as x approaches either positive infinity or negative infinity is 0, right? So that is the first part. Now, let us do the second part which is 
then state whether the curve approaches asymptote from above or below. So what we have really found here is that if we have x and y axis and in that case the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. So that is y equals to 0, right? We need to find whether we are approaching from above or below this graph, this line, as x approaches minus infinity or plus infinity. Now when we say as x approaches minus infinity, it really means what? We are looking for numbers like 4. 100 is like a big number, right? Minus 100 will be minus infinity. So what we will do is we will find the value of the function at minus 100 and see whether this value in this case is greater than 0 or less than 0, right? So if I substitute minus 100 here, I get 2 times, I mean minus 100, divided by minus 100 square, right, minus 4. This value, clearly, this is 100 square is positive, denominator is positive, numerator is negative, so this value is negative. Now since this value is negative, as you approach negative infinity, you are approaching from below the horizontal asymptote. Now, if you do the same calculation for plus 100, then what you get here is 2 times 100 divided by 100 square minus 4, which is positive, right? So that clearly shows that you are approaching from above the graph. 